you guys, how's it going? Happy Thursday. I still got about a minute 30 before the stream starts, so I thought I'd just pop in, hang out, chat with you guys while it's getting started. Unknown game, how's it going? Uh, we have Bridgman on the docket today. Um, still continuing same old, same old, but I thought, world, hello! But I thought it'd be fun just to do some, some fun drawing beforehand. I don't really feel like doing studies right now. So I'll probably do some fun drawing first. I'm doing all right. My day's just getting started, just waking up. Got my coffee in hand. Uh, I can't complain. It's gonna be kind of a short stream. We've only got an hour before I gotta get ready for work. Quick little in and out, you know how it goes. Uh, but yeah, how are you guys doing? Hope everyone's doing well. <laughs> I really don't. I think that's because it's the last few pages. You know, like, the last 3% of anything is the hardest 3%. <laughs> Alright. Now that we're all started up, let's get started. Hey, there's our Lenny face. <laughs> so last time, we are working on clothing folds. So, arm drapery, stuff like that. A little business suit. Uh, and this page is filled up, so start a new page so like I said I kind of wanted to just mess around I wanted to draw a little bit with this um this pencil here so let me show you some of my warm-ups I do um, when I'm getting ready to draw so my first favorite is doing two lines on the top and bottom actually you can't see that let me put the line right there on the top and bottom, and then just zoop and try and make a straight line from one dot to the other. It's kind of like baseball, where you want to keep your eye on the second line. You want to keep your eye on the ball when you're doing this. Kind of just helps you to accurately draw your lines where you want them to go. Miss that one. That's okay. Try again. Take a couple practice swings. Just like that. I think the practice swings help a lot. And it kind of um keeps you from doing the old draw undo, draw undo, draw undo thing. So we won't do too many of these. Let's do some horizontal ones. Again, same thing. Just line to another dot. It's a little hard doing it this way because I'm right-handed. So I actually can't see where the dot is. If I go left-handed, or you know, if I go right to left, that feels more awkward, but I can see where I'm going, at least. So, some straight lines. Maybe let's do some blob exercises. Those are fun to do. Let's draw a handful of blobs, and then... Turn them into 3D shapes. Work on seeing forms visually. Let's 
Let's do another blob. Draw around its 3D form. I think this one, we're gonna have it be two shapes in one. So it'll kind of form into the second bean shape, like that. Gross. Looks so gross. And this one goes up and around, like that. So anyways, how are you guys doing? Let's see, let's clean that up. It was really fun doing Draw Pile yesterday. That was a blast. I don't know if... Um, I'll be down for doing it again today. It was really fun, though. Might do. Might do. You know, I think I, after I fill up this page of warm ups, we'll probably just move on to Bridgman from here. Warm ups are fun drawing for me. They're fun to do. it off let's just do let's do some ovals so for this one you just want to do ovals all of the same size shape and angle we'll do it one way harder than it looks. And then we'll do it the other way. So these are just some of the drawing warm-ups I like to do. There's there's so many. Teleporte does a really good video on the drawing warm-ups that he does. Why did you draw lines? Uh, what else am I gonna draw? <laughs> That's usually what drawings are made of. They're usually made of lines. But yeah, uh, joking aside, this is just um, some drawing warm-ups. It's kind of like doing warm-ups before you exercise. There we go, some drawing warm-ups. Let's uh, delete this layer, don't need that anymore. Make a new one. What page are we on? Uh, 328, it looks like. So page 328. The date is 3-16-23. I didn't open up Bridgman. Here, let me do that real quick. Give me one second. Shouldn't take too long to navigate to it. the knees chapter 
Oh, there's nothing on 328. We're actually doing 329. And it seems to be just like one drawing. So we'll continue with that. Side of the body here. And then some swoopy and then the side of the head goes here shoulder it should be pretty quick drawing it's just simple swooshes Again, we're studying drapery. That's where, what we're on right now. Some wrinkles here. Bottom of the leg. Other leg. Just like that, that's the end of Haynes 329. So this is a big one. Uh, page 331 is a really big one. Has all the um, folds defined. 331. Almost debating if I want to go back to my old pencil to do this one since it's more of a study sheet than the other ones. Ah, good old no pressure pencil. How I missed you. Shadow and then fold it out to here. Yeah, this will be a big drawing. I feel like this is going to take quite a bit of time to get through. Want to make sure to do a good job. Since this is a pretty important reference. And then 
inside. A couple notches of shading here. for some reason. It's such a fun drawing. I like this drawing a lot. Some volume shading here. Just like that. Let's see, and then the hips come out that shading here you know what um game I'd really like to play I've been having it in my head that I really want to do a stream where I stream like old games that I grew up on. There's a game called Goblins 2 that I really like. That people are probably going to hate just because of the sound design. <laughs> it's an old DOS game. It's like a puzzle solving game where you play as two goblins. One goblin's an asshole and then the other's like super nice. <laughs> um... So you kind of have to use their two personalities to solve the puzzles. But, um, the sound effects for it, holy shit. <laughs> it's those old, like, computery sound effects, so it's like... <laughs> like, that's how people talk, and it gets really annoying. But I really like it, because I grew up with it, and uh, it's nostalgic to me. But anytime I show people that game, they're always like, What the fuck is this? Why does it sound like shit? <laughs> My fucking ears. <laughs> Yeah, there's three of them. Uh, I've only played Goblins 2. Um, Goblins 2 is the one I'm familiar with, but as far as I know, there's three? There might be even even more than that. But yeah, it's a, it's a point-and-click puzzle-solving one. I love the intro. I have it. It's another one of those things I've just got memorized because I watched it so much as a kid. Where it's just a wizard, and he's like, Telling you the prologue of the story, and he's like, bra patino, bra, bra patino, patino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I want to play it. It's so. It's really cute and cartoony, but it's also really hard. I've never gotten that far in that game. It's pretty tough. Might have to have like a. A walkthrough or something if I ever decide to play it just so we don't get stuck forever but I still remember like the beginning puzzles at least how to solve them like how to get the bread from the the grumpy old man and how to steal the water bottle from the two old ladies classic classic puzzles classic puzzle game it boggles the mind. It stirs the imagination. That's funny that you remember. <laughs> the game's old as hell. I think I remember seeing that game before we even had a computer. I was just like, ah, oh, computers are so cool. Look at that awesome new video game. I remember seeing it in like a computer store, just playing the demo over and over again. Yeah, you can play it on that um, DOS emulator website. They have it, if you ever wanted to check it out. 
At least seeing the intro is pretty fun, because you get to see, like, old cutscenes. <laughs> like, DOS games having cutscenes was a pretty big deal back then. Let's see. And then that goes here. There's also this racing game, and I always forget the name of it, because it's got a really generic name. But you're like racing in hell and like through a monster's stomach and stuff like that. I forget the name of it, but uh, whenever you'd lose, um, there'd be a full motion video of a guy coming out and berating you for driving so bad. I wish I could remember it. It's not a very good game, I just remember playing it a lot as a kid. But yeah, it's hard to search for because I never remember the name of it. And it's like, how do you search for a racing game? A 3D racing game. <laughs> oh, there's only like five of them in the world. Like, it's got to be an easy Google. Okay, and then we're on the side of her leg here. This sort of shape. One way I really like to sketch on this program is to do my Microsoft Paint um, pencil first and then kind of go over shading with um, with my pressure sensitivity pencil. I don't have any good names for these tools. <laughs> this, this is just what they are in my head. But it gives a really nice look when you combine the two pencils together. Gives a nice kind of um shaded graphite kind of look to it. Rapatino, rapatino, tino. <laughs> I think the mission in Goblins is you're trying to rescue the king's son, his fool son, who gets kidnapped. for this drawing. It's so detailed. Some shading down towards the knee. Like that. soundtrack to put on is the Ranma soundtrack. It's a really fun one. I like the um, the variety of it. It's got some quirky songs. It's got some nice songs. Let's see. And then this leg goes here. Bends around like that. stops here. I 
don't know how they managed to get rolling R's in DOS sound effects. <laughs> it's so cool sounding. I also like that, um, the humor in it's pretty funny if you like, uh, like Three Stooges type of humor. Like the whole time the wizard's giving the prologue to the story, there's a bee flying around. <laughs> <laughs> so he's trying to give this very serious, like, story, but he's just, like, swatting a bee away for no reason. <laughs> it's very silly. Let's see. One, two, three. really easy to lose your place in a uh, in all of these folds it's really easy to lose track of where you are but I can see where we are so that goes there and then this folds up and over kind of like that and then this curls up this way <laughs> A diagonal. And some wrinkly puffs, wrinkly poos. And you got a big puffy thing over here. sort of shape and connects up into here. Let's see. It's a big poofy shape. Connects up into Hmm. Okay. I see. Here's a place where I really lost my places. All this stuff in the center here. So let's start that over. So there's shading here, then there's a cavity right here, like that, and then that connects into the puffy thing, just like that. And this is shaded in. about here, like that, and then puffy thing ends about here, then there's a swirl right there, and then plug in the shading all along the bottom of it, like this. up a little bit. All 
Alrighty, no worries. Yeah, like I always say, these streams are made for lurking. This is me just hanging out and doing my studies. Be the same whether one person was here or a thousand people or zero people. Let's see. And then Puff goes in here. Um, so that's that, and then this is the bottom. The puff goes like that. And zips around. Like that. Stomping Koopas. And then a little diagonal here. Some scribbly shading. And this is a fun fold, but also kind of complex is the inert fold. The one where it's just like not relying on any force, it's just kind of on the ground. Like this. say that racing game I was talking about earlier was called Omega Race or Mega Race or something like that. So my dad used to play an arcade game called Omega Race and I remember the racing game that I played had kind of a similar name. I think it was something like that. I'd be curious to try and find it again. Just for the full motion video parts. Let's see, and then there's a mound up here. Mound? Brown mound. And I think that's it. So let's just go over it with our pencil and just add a little bit of shading detail into it. Make it look nice. Just for funsies. Today is all about drawing for fun. shading here. Ah, uh, you know what Sega game I'd really like to play again and get farther in is a uh, Comic Zone. That game is so fucking hard. I feel like we'd have to turn on cheat codes if we were to play that game. The game was made to be impossible. But it's so cool, it has a really cool style to it. I 
be a neat one to show off. Hey, welcome back. Let's see. Just shade in these things. Using the pencil over these lines too, it kind of like blurs it a little bit, makes it look aesthetically pleasing. Like manually adding a blur to all of these lines. There's no real reason to do this, I just like the way it looks. Shadow here, some here. So a little bit more shadow up in here. And that's probably good. We could call that good, I think. I'm missing any shadows? inert fold down here. Could use some. Just a little bit. There we go. Okay. So. Now to diagram what all these folds are. So like I said, this was a pretty important drawing because it shows all of the different folds uh, that there are. So this one. Oops. Selection tool. So this one right here. Put a point here, point here. And do a little crisscross. And then a couple tubes like this. So this fold has a funny name. It's called the diaper fold. And that's because whenever you see it, you shit. Let's see, and then some wrinkles here. And then big wrinkle here. So it kind of has this like zigzaggy pattern to it. And then the bottom of it goes like that. Diaper fold. And this one up in here. Just indicate it a little bit more. This one confuses me. I think this one, I'm not really sure when I would use it. I'll have to look at um, some Greek ass statues and see if I can spot this one. But this is called the Spiral Fold. Greek ass statues have such good clothing on them. This shit's amazing what they could do with like marble and stuff. Incredible art. So, spiral. And then here. Just indicate it a little bit better this way. Then in here, we have the zigzag fold. So that goes, kind of makes a Z shape. 
might need more room. Maybe scale this this guy down. Zigzag fold goes out. And has a bit of shadow here. And this goes down like that. some scribble knots right here. This one's a little bit confusing to me too. I think, hmm, I'll just ponder in my head because I'm not quite sure, but I think I recognize Zigzag Fold. Hey TX, how's it going? Thank you. This over here is the drop fold, pretty easy one. Just goes down like this. here. So that's the drop fold. This one down here is inert, meaning no force is acting on it. It's just kind of like a lump on the ground. This one over here This one's fun. I really like this kind of fold. The pipe fold is really fun. It just makes like little cylinders. You see that a lot when you're like hanging blankets oh, on a chair. Hi Tyrese, how's it going? He looks fucking epic. Dude, I'd eat the fuck out of some mayonnaise gelatin. That shit sounds dank. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe make this a little bit bigger. How's it going, Terzi? Hope you're doing well. I saw your uh, draw pile drawing. It turned out really good. <laughs> I thought there might be a chance he'd show up, but I thought for sure, like, we haven't done a draw pile in forever. There's no way Terzi's gonna see it. <laughs> That was a really fun drop pile. There's still space, maybe we'll continue it today. Let's see. <laughs> oh, it wasn't you? Oh, my mistake then. Apologies. I must have had you mistaken for another. Talented, handsome man. Oh. So, pipe fold. And then half lock. So, half lock is one triangle coming down into like 
another triangle as best I can describe it in like that. Yeah, all the talk of retro games earlier, I have a big hankering to play um, some old DOS games now. It'd be really fun. So let's move this closer. Half lock is this one here. Half lock drawing. There we go. So that's all the folds. And that's page 331. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, I really didn't expect it. Uh, anyways guys, I told you it'd be a short one. <laughs> I think there's not enough time to start the second page. So I'll probably just leave it off here, I think. I'm gonna call it a draw pile, just because that's what I'm used to saying. And I like the word draw pile better than Agio. Agio is a stupid name, and all should be ashamed who say it. Oh. What is the professional version of Agio? Isn't it like Magma Studio or something? Yeah, I'm still figuring out how to get a brush that I like in that Agio program. I like how it's called Magma. I keep wanting to call it Manga Studio. But that's a whole other ball game. Uh, I am using Bridgman. You can type in exclamation point Bridgman to grab yourself a copy. It's old enough. It's from like the 1920s, so... It should be fair use. Let's see, what was I looking for? This one. Let's clean that little edge up a little bit. It was bothering me. Uh, but yeah, we've been studying from Bridgman for the past year or so. We are almost done with part one, which is super exciting. Let's count how many pages we have left, actually. Uh, so there's one, two, three... Does that count? I'm gonna not count that one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. There's like 16 pages left. Yeah, the thing I miss about um, Agio, and I guess Draw Pile doesn't have this either, but I really miss having textured brushes. Textured brushes are like one of my favorite things to draw with. Yeah, there's no way we're getting it done this week. Hopefully next week. I think likely next week, but we will see. Oh, you can have your own username at the end of Agio. I didn't know that. It's pretty cool. How come it's not showing anything for me? View fit on screen. There we go. Oh, that looks awesome. Does yours have texture? It's hard to tell. 
Maybe it doesn't. It's just like really soft. That's cool looking. That looks great, dude. <laughs> I'm not a penis. No one ever said you were. Oh wait, no, Terzi did. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> It could be whatever, that's fun. We'll have to do some uh, really uh, edgy words for our next draw pile. That will be fun. Alienate our audience as much as possible. That would be a good idea. Um. <laughs> I like this one. I like this canvas. But yeah, there's some quirks to it. I'm still getting used to how it works. You know, the tool that I like using an Agio is just the pencil tool at like one pixel. It's like basically just a MS Paint um, pencil. That one's taken. Ba -da -dum, ba -da -da -dum. Uh, but yeah, guys, I think um, I'm probably gonna call it here. Uh, ah! <laughs> Not because of the Agio link, I'm just screaming. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'll be on tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. Um, hope everyone's Thursday goes really well. I am very scared of Terzi, so I better get out of here. Um, but yeah, it was fun as always. Uh, I'm really glad we got through this drawing. I was really looking forward to doing this one. Um, but take it easy, guys, and I'll see y'all next time. Have a good one, and I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Uh,